Hello. Hi there, Kathy Kinche. Good to see you. Right. <sighs> How's your guys been? Mine's been a bit hit and miss. <laughs> because last night I fell asleep on my sofa. I woke up. Finally went to my bed about four. And then I didn't get up till about 11. Half 11. <laughs> So that's half my day gone. So I just said to my, my little fur babies, I said, I will go to my bed tonight. I was sleeping it from about 11 o'clock. By the time I finish on here and uploading and everything, it's like about 11 o'clock. I said, so about 11 o'clock, we're going to bed. <laughs> because I don't like it when I fall asleep on the sofa because I can't lie on there with me. I like to lie at the bottom of my bed. Don't know why, because I tend to kick out. Anyway, so here today, watching videos and sorting pictures out and whatever to have a discussion about. But that one, one video of today I thought why have I not seen this video before before now I don't mind but I was um I was subscribed to this channel as well to both the channels and so I don't know why I didn't see the video yet. I think sometimes I know I do like two or three hour videos but sometimes I think when you're doing research you haven't got time to sit there and watch a two or three hour video. So a lot of the times I watch it on like 1.25 or 1.50 speed. So that I do get to watch them. But that means I could miss something. Anyway. Glad to see you all in here. Come in chat and say hello. I don't bite. Anyway, today we're looking, as usual, at this little boy, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. I don't, I don't like snakes, I really don't, and there's no way I'd have a head of a snake that close to my neck or my face, I'm sorry. It's just that smile. It's I keep saying it, but his smile is so contagious. You know what I mean? If you're having a bad day, just put just pull up one of his pictures. Pull up any of his pictures. And that will just take all your worries away. I'm new here, but I've seen a video earlier where it was hold on. It was a back porch at the home and was wondering, has anyone else seen those cases where the parents are the camp or group home to kidnap the child? Oh, you seen a video earlier. Hi, anyway, hi Tash, good to see you here. No, but I have thought, and I did do mention it once on a live, and I did pull up the map. And um, because I thought perhaps the mother had seen, put him in, um, like one of these 24-7 uh, places, institutions for children with autism. I have seen on Dr. Phil when I take the kids by force, has anyone considered that maybe they staged a kidnapping? Possible. Anything is possible at this time. You know what I mean? Anything is possible. It's like I heard, I don't know why it was, but 
Hold on, I'm just getting a bit more comfy. Uh, um, I think where it was I heard it, it was today. Today on one of the YouTube channels. And um, it said that apparently Katie was talking about the dogs. And I think it's on the video that I'm going to be looking at tonight. Right? Yeah, it is on the video. And they're talking about the two Morkies. Morkies, Yorkies they are. But they're called Morkies. Oh, they're definitely involved. They're definitely involved, Tash. Very much involved. But, and it said something about how she'd heard a noise. Not the thud. Not the thud. She thought she heard a noise sometime during the night, in the night, on a Sunday night. Because the YouTuber was asking, well, would the, did, would the dogs bark? You know what I mean? They spoke to Chris and they said, would the dogs not have barked? And I thought, what's this noise now they're wrong about? Hold on, hold on. I know about the thud. I know about the thud. But what's this noise they're wrong about now? You know what I mean? So, when we watch this video tonight, right, it is a video of a YouTuber and she's streaming this video, this huge, this ever YouTuber video. Both links are in the description. Um, and what I'm going to do, right, just to be on the safe side. Put my disclaimer up. Right. And I'm thinking, what noise would that be? Are they talking about the thug noise? Or are they talking about another noise that Katie apparently heard? But didn't go and check. That's good parenting, if that's the case. She don't go and check on a child who she thinks may have fallen out of bed, who's, who, if he hits his head, could kill him. But she doesn't go and check on him. And then apparently there might be, a, I don't know how true it is, there might have been another noise she heard, but she didn't go and check on that. That's a very good mother. Sometimes wonder if she had a bottle of wine or two. And I don't mean glasses, I mean the bottles. So, because um, I know there's some parents that do, at the end of a long day, the children are in bed, they have a glass of wine or, so, or two. But I'm talking bottles of wine. So, and I've got no problem with people wanting a drink on the evening. I don't drink... I can't drink no more. I can't. Uh, a year ago, New Year's Eve it was, I was only on one type of medication then. And I was, and I had that medication in the morning. So I've gone to my son's for New Year's Eve and um, I thought, you know what? I've just had one hell of a year. One hell of a year. I just want this year over and done with. Right, so I was drinking to the point where I literally, I literally passed out on the floor. <laughs> so, and then last year I didn't go out at all New Year's because I said no. I said I'm not going out. I don't drink no more. If I go, if I do go out anywhere night, let's drink. But I like a, a glass of Coca Cola with three slices. Of lemon in it. Got be three slices. Three slices of lemon. And that's what I drink now. Or drink tonic water with sliced lemon. So I'm a big drinker here. So I've gone from hitting shots and all that lot to drinking Coca Cola <laughs> when I go out. But yeah. 
be coming to them now. I don't know if... Because when it was mentioned about the institutions, Kathy and Chris are definitely hiding something. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, she's not a good mother. I mean, I had my grandson here the weekend. And... What was it? I, I heard this bang, like something had been dropped. I've literally, and it was just before, uh, I don't do a live on a Saturday night or a Friday night because I've got my grandson here. And I'm sitting on the sofa and I heard this crash like a bang. I, I've literally left. I'm running up to my bedroom because I knew it was in my bedroom because of the sounding. My bedroom is right next to the living room. And as I'm going up, I go, are you okay? Are you okay in there? He went, yeah. I said, what have you done? And when I've gone in there, he's actually pulled my mattress off the bed, partially pulled it off the bed, and knocked my lamp over. And that was a crash noise I heard that. Right. So I said, right, you grab the other end of the mattress uh, and you can help me pull this mattress back on. And he did. Fair enough, he did. But that's what the crash noise was, my lamp. The mattress, as he knocked the lamp mattress off the bed, has knocked the lamp over. I'm thinking, I'm going to kill you. Because my lampshade is getting, is a feather one. My got all feathers on. It goes with my ceiling one in my bedroom. But this lampshade is getting very worn looking. Like uh, one weekend, I've gone in to tidy up after, after I took him home. And when I've gone in there, I've gone around my side of the bed by the window side. And I thought, flipping hell, it looks like I've uh, plucked a flipping chicken in here. There's feathers everywhere. So during the one or two hours he had in my bedroom on a Sunday morning, I don't know where these feathers had come from, but <laughs> feathers everywhere. I thought, oh, God. So I've got to get a new lampshade because it's getting very, very, very empty, bare-looking, which is not a good mother. <laughs> Even if your child isn't autistic, right, and you hear a, a thud noise or a bang, you know what I mean? You go and check on them. <coughs> you go and check on them. It's simple as that. So, um, and that, that video of the cameras. <coughs> I'm sorry about this. Sorry. Hold on. That video with the cameras. I'm just so sick of it now, because people are making it out to be a lot more now, something else. I'm thinking, can you not flog a dead horse anymore? Please, drop this video with the lights, because you're making it out to be something it isn't. I really do believe that now. Right? Because it, they've zoomed in on it so so much now. It's like you can make out these figures and it looks like there's a bit of a tussle going on between one or two of them. I'm thinking, how do you work that out? How can you make out these little dark figures that there's a tussle going on? I can't even make out if it's a person or not. It's that so close up. It's like a big blob, black blob. So I'm thinking, how can you make out there's a tussle going on? Please, I'm thinking. We won't know the truth until Sebastian is found. Now, I'm going to have to open my emails because um, that's where I still... If I want to put any pictures up on here, I'll put them all on my email. Send them all to my email so I can just show them from there. So, and then that, that picture come out.
yeah, of Sebastian. Wow. Hey. Yeah, we don't fund the woman. And I'm going to be. But. Do you in the picture? Come, come forward and tell us. You know what I mean? Right. So, I'm just from this woman. And I've. Right? Because people have dragged these two women into it now, all because apparently they both wear the same colour sweatshirt. That's it. That's the one, Samantha. That's the one I'm, we'll be looking at today. And that's why I've got my disclaimer up in the corner. But I won't be watching it. I'll just do little clips of it sort of thing. I'll try to. But I thought Terry Lee was brilliant. I actually could sit there and have that phone talk call with him. But you leave it in a minute. So, anyway, so... Um, just going to put these pictures up. Now, when these pictures come out, this picture come out the other day, right? I was a bit annoyed. Because, apparently, um, this woman... I'm going, I've got to take that picture off so I can get me. Dingle. Take that one off. Right. This picture. This we took on the Saturday. But now, if you see someone, if you was out somewhere and you see someone who looked like this, right? I'm going to see if I can zoom in. I should be able to, yes. Right? It's the closest I can get. Yeah. If you was out and you seen someone, what is it they say? What was it? Both parents have said, if you see Sebastian, what should you do? Don't go running up to him. Or if you see someone looking like Sebastian, don't go running up to him. Call his name. Call his name. He's looking down. Perhaps if she just said, Sebastian Rogers, he may have, the woman may have turned to head if she was with him, or he may have looked up. You know what I mean? But from what I can understand, she didn't even call his name. She didn't get... I'd have been on there flipping tails. I would have been following that lad. Like, not right up behind him, but... I'd have been following him. I'd have, um... Got tag numbers, license numbers, anything. I'd have said his name. Right? But you know when you see him, with, like, you see him walking to a car. I've I've called his name then. I've gone Sebastian Rogers, Sebastian Wayne Break Rogers. And if he get looked up, then you think, ah, right. But she didn't. Do, she just took this photo, and then she waited a while, right, before phoning law enforcement. What the hell? Come on. Right, I'll go. Yeah, <laughs> she told him. But I thought, but going back to this picture, I'm thinking, what the hell? Why wouldn't you say something? You know what I mean? Or get the tag number. Anything. Other than just take a photo. Then wait an hour or so before phoning law enforcement. 
uh, no, phone on, take the photo and then phone the law enforcement or phone law enforcement before you take a photo. Right? Because I'm sure law enforcement could have got there sooner. But someone mentioned as well. I'm not sure if it's in this one. If it's in this one, you can see it. Right. Um. I don't know. But in one of the photos I've seen today, my V over there somewhere. Let's see if I can flip this. Can I flip? No. No. But uh, someone love and I think it was on another YouTuber channel. And he's going, I can't love it. But I noticed it in the picture today, in one of the pictures I see. I don't know. RV, right behind some cars. Like the roof of the RV and the side panel, a little bit of the side of the RV. But this woman even be with him. You know what I mean? Because there's another guy person here. And I'll go I'll see if I can get it up. Flipped the photo. So it's looking at another angle. And um I'm not paying it, I've just got a phone. But it's so hard to find it because you get so many people paying. Right. So. Um. What's this one? Right. First thing to go, if you going to get pulled in. Oh, it's this woman, because you've got the same... Here it is. Right here. Up in the corner. I'm not getting any closer. See, there's an RV there. Right up there in the corner. And not only that, you see the leg of this person as well. Now, we could, this leg could be with this person. He may not have nothing to do with this woman. Right? Because oh. if you look, this person here in the bottom right hand corner, or left hand corner, whichever way you want to look, is going the same direction that, he's, that this leg's going. This guy here and this woman are going the opposite direction. So she may not even be anything to do with this lag. I cannot imagine why what the person was doing you took the pick. My adrenaline would have hit overdrive. Thank you so much. Why? But do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you've got this person here walking this way. Looks like a lad. Looks like a lad. Don't know, it just looks like a lad. Right? And you've got this lad here 
walking this way and then you've got this woman going that way and this person here going that way you may not have any, but this person here might have everything to do with this lad it would have been nice if she could have got that person in on the photo But there was definitely uh, a trailer just up there. You can't see it for, on the other picture. So, hello, Samantha. Yeah. But I, that video, it's worth, it's worth the wait to watch. Honest to God. And at the end, Caroline was going, at the end, never again, never again. <laughs> now, before I show that video, where was Katie? You know what I mean? Now, in a trailer, yeah? So, where was Katie? He's, he's tired, he's in bed. And he's wanting to meet up in public person yeah right thank you for the green heart samantha anyway so that's just a different that's just a photo it just show you more information in the background so i think i didn't have to think i'm going it's with him I mean, I think he's more likely to be with this person here. With this person. Don't know, look at their hands. It looks like a youngish guy as well, young lad as well. Um, you yeah. don't know. Is, he did manage to wander off and he's hooked up with a group of lads or another group of kids just who just wander around. But this is so like Sebastian. You look at the pictures and this is the closest we've got to a adding FBI this and we know where they work they can be very slow so and then oops. right this picture here you can tell this while ago, because Seth's hair is cut short, right? And if you look at Seth, I would select that bit of hair growing up, it's to have it all turned back again. Do we care who that woman is? Do we? No, I don't. All right. Oh, but the same woman. Yeah, you look at this one. I've been, we haven't, I've have been glued to YouTube from the moment I opened my eyes. Waiting for anything to pop up on the screen. Anything. Anything. Seth, a news release. Because I can assure you, if it is Sebastian, there will be a news release. The police will do a press release. So I think my five percent we know how they work, it can take and don't forget this woman didn't inform the law enforcement till like an hour or so after after she took the photo. By then they could be in the car and gone. Right? So then that means I've got to chase up Watch the videos if there's any videos of the car park to see 
what Carla got into, kind of find the registration, the tag number for it, and track it down like that. And it all takes time. This is why if you see someone who looks like Sebastian, don't wait even a minute. You get on your phone and you phone the police. Come on, everyone. They've been saying it from day one. If you see Sebastian, phone the police. Call his name. Right now, people might say, it isn't Sebastian. Because he call it, he phone his dad. How do you know who he is with? You may not be able to get to a phone. It might be family members. We don't know. And they're saying, oh, well, you can go and stay with us for a few weeks or something like that, a couple of months. Why? Right? On holiday. While your mum and Chris work out things, sort of thing. You know what I mean? So if it's with people he knows, why would he phone? But then again, it could be with people. They might not let him near a phone. Or the internet or anything like that. Because this is what I find strange. Hold on. This is it. Right? Now, if this is Sebastian, right? I'm going to zoom in. This is Sebastian. He's a 15 year old guy. Do you not have a phone on him? He's got no phone on him. So perhaps isn't they're not letting him get Perhaps he doesn't even know he's reported missing and that his father is looking for him. He probably hasn't even seen a news press release, any of these YouTube channels, nothing. He probably doesn't really know this. If he's with someone he knows, right, who's if he's happy to be with. Then why would he be thinking, I've got to get in touch with my dad to let him know where I am? Not me, sort of thing. But as I said last night, there was a case I was watching, and this girl had gone along with this guy, this man, and uh, he told her her mother and her brother were tied up in the garage. What he didn't tell her, he did say he'd set timers, right, to go off, to set the house on fire. But the, your mother and your brother would be safe because they were in the garage. No, they weren't safe. The garage went up as well. But she didn't know that. Huh? He was telling her, if you see anyone, don't talk to them. Otherwise, I'll kill that person, then I'll kill you. She was so scared of what could happen. She was just going along with whatever he said. And it wasn't until the police found her because this guy died and she was trying to signal him to let him know where she was. I don't know how he died or what he died of, but apparently he passed away. It wasn't until I found her and got her back home and told her about her mother and her brother been killed by this guy. Let's just find out the truth. So we don't know if someone has got him. Look, if you say anything to anyone, your mother can get... Because there's unconditional love in every child. And I don't care what a parent does. There's still unconditional love from that child to that parent. Because at the end of the day, they go, but at the end of the day, she's my mum. At the end of the day, she's my dad. You know what I mean? There's unconditional love by a child to a parent. So, you know what I mean? You don't know if he's been told by uh, Chris before, or if you let your dad know what goes on. But 
by what's happened here, then this will happen. You know what I mean? And you, me and your mum will separate, you won't have, you'll have nowhere to leave, you'll have to move schools, you'll have to do this, you'll have to do that. So it's already probably prone, um, like, what's that word? Uh, it's already gotten used to not saying anything to anyone, because it's Chris. So if you with these people, and I will probably say, don't talk to no one when we're out. Don't look up. Don't talk to no one. So, but I really don't think he's with that woman. Just by the angle where she's walking that way and he's walking that way. Um, it was on... Let me see if I can find it. It was on a Facebook page called Mysterious Disappearance of Sebastian Rogers, Hendersonville, Tennessee. And um, this woman posted it and she said it, it was her friend or a family member and took this photo on the weekend. Oh, go off the head. What was that come up? Right? So I don't really know who took the photo. Right. Oh, yeah. JLR. Oh, right. Woman by the name of Vanessa has come forward to claim she is the one in the pic with Seth Rogers, but is not the one seen in the photograph with the boy who resembles Sebastian Rogers. You see, Seth did say to one of the YouTubers yesterday, he knew who the woman was, meaning that woman who's in the car, this woman, right? Now, everyone can see, come on, where is he? Right, you got this woman here, right? She's got light blonde hair, lightish bangs, fa uh, fangs as they call them or whatever they want to call them, bangs. I call it a fringe, right? She's got a fringe. Oh yeah, hold on. And the side of her glasses, look at them, yeah. Now look at her side, a lot thinner, no fringe or bangs or whatever they call them, and her hair is darker, slightly darker. No comparison whatsoever. What's this photo? Well, it's no comparison to her. But authorities are looking into the photo of the Sebastian Rogers lookalike. This was taken yesterday in North Carolina. Right? Well, this was Saturday, it was uh, taken. I believe it was Saturday, but now on to Tuesday. This was put on. This post was, I'm sure this photo of this woman and this lad was taken on the Saturday in North Carolina. We're all waiting for further information. As I said, we'll not know. Hold on. Someone put a comment. Not the same at all. Vanessa is a side profile girl. She's not. 
Sorry, play for our girl is the very same girl who walks past Sebastian, and Vanessa says she's not her. So how could she then be the other? Blonde girl has the same. For fuck's sake, I don't. I've got hoodies. I've got hoodies. I'm oh, going. I've got hoodies. It would be, wouldn't it, Kathy, if it was him? But as I said, I don't know who took the photo. It was the woman who posted it was a friend or a family member of hers that posted it. Right? So, as I said, we're just waiting. It's a waiting game. But I hope it is him. Because I don't want the thoughts that I've got, my in my opinion, my my thoughts, my opinion about it, to be true. I really don't. I want him to be found. I want him to be found and brought home to his dad. Right. I don't want him not found and um or found on a live. I don't want that. I really don't. I've been working on this case now since he went missing on the 26th. I heard about it on the 27th. So I've literally been working on this case since the 27th of February. Every day I have been looking at information, uh, go checking other YouTube channels. But at the beginning, there was only a handful of people talking about this case. It wasn't until literally the weekend after he went missing that more people were starting to come in and pick up on this case. And then when the parents did that one interview with a YouTuber, and then when they did the interview on the, and it was released on the Monday, a week after Sebastian had gone missing, it was put out on the Monday by a newsreel, that a lot more people come into it. But it would be great, wouldn't it, if it was him? It really would. But it's so like him. I've never met the lad. But it's so like him. Even down to people are saying the trainers are, oh, I thought he left the house with no shoes. Uh, if he's with someone, they can buy shoes. You know what I mean? And the autistic children, some, I'm not saying all, some autistic children tend to favour one sort of shoe. Maybe two. Like, they'll say, okay, we'll have these for school. And then after school, we've got these ones. So they tend to favour one or two shoes. But I can guarantee you most, or just, well, I can't guarantee, but I should imagine it because my two grandsons are on the spec. Well, one is on, has been diagnosed, and one is still waiting to be diagnosed. But they're both like trainers. And when my son got married, they wanted him to wear kilts in the shoes, the proper shoes that you wear with kilts. And I said, I can't see these two lads wearing a kilt. Right? And I know they definitely won't wear, I know Vince, my one grandson, he won't wear shoes. Right? I, and I said to my daughter, I said, just put him, we'll get him some nice black trousers, we'll get him a little nice shirt and a towel, but whatever, and put him in, he's comfortable, he likes them trainers, let him wear them trainers, I would make any child wear shoes or something they didn't like to wear, to anywhere, I don't care, I, I, it's like, if they don't want their hair brushed, fine, leave them, some autistic children are like that. They don't like you messing with their hair. Leave it. Don't 
push it and push it to the point where they're in tears and having a down because you want their hair perfect and they don't want you messing with their hair. You know what I mean? Just leave them. It's, it makes your life a lot easier as well as a parent if you just go along with that child. Yes, correct if they're not out of order. If they're out of order, but you've got, they've got to understand. Yes, correct them. But there's a way to correct them. Right? Uh, you come down to their height. So you are eye to eye when you're talking to the child. Right? But you don't force them into doing something they don't want to do. My grandson, who I have on the weekend, not every weekend, I haven't got him this week. Um, he don't like going to the shops. He really don't. So if I have to go to the shops, I'll make it just one or two shops I go to. And then we go for some lunch. And then that's it. And then he wants to come home. My other grandson, when he comes up to visit, he's not one for shops either. So while his mum's going around the shops, the shopping arcade, I I sit outside with him by this church or somewhere, and we have some. We, I get something to eat or some snacks for us to sit there and drink and eat while his mum's going about her business. And all he wants to do is come to my house. And he calls me Grang Grang Ahoy. Grang Ahoy. Exactly, Sam. Hi there. You listen to them. And my, as I said, the one grandson who comes to visit when he comes to visit, he calls me Grang Ahoy. Because I live on the 14th floor of a, what in Scotland they call them Maltese. Some places in England they call them high rise or whatever. But um, because I live on the top floor, he calls me Grang Ahoy. And he said this once to someone. I think it was at my daughter's works. Right? And he said something about me coming down. He said, Grang Ahoy coming to visit. And this woman's looked at my daughter, thinking oh, I'm high as a kite. She said, no, not that high. She lives on the 14th floor. You know what I mean? Oh, and he, he associates me as being high up, so he calls me Granger High. And I don't force him to do anything. He comes here and he loves it. But he just loves it here when he's here because he goes in that bedroom and he's getting the toys out and he's bringing them in the living room. I don't care what they do because it takes five minutes to pick up all these toys and put them away. Five minutes. Right? And I let him do all that. And it's, it's just the same at home. If he wants something brought down from his room, his mum will normally bring it down for him if it's a big item. Right? But that's what my sister, my daughter's like. She doesn't like, push him into doing anything, really. Like, he doesn't want to do. And she just listens to him. She really does. She's really good with her son. It's like... There was something happening, and she said something about school or something. So he kept saying he felt sick all the time. So I think, I can't remember what it was, but she asked him, said, why? And she sat him down and said, why don't you want to go to school? Do you want to, would you like to tell me why you don't want to go to school? So then I can do something about it. If, if I can, I can do something about this. And he told her. Apparently, it was something to do with some, like, at the school he goes to, there's, like, two schools. And at dinner time, the older children mix with the younger children. And he's not used to crowds. He don't like crowds. He don't like big groups of people. So he was having difficulty dealing with it, and that's what was scaring him. And so she told the teacher about this. So what they're doing now is they give him the choice as to where he wants to go out at dinner time. And if he does, they say, well, if it gets too much for you, just go and tell one of the teachers and we'll have you brought back in and you can sit in the classroom or somewhere and do something here. 
سلايا ويل كو كدي وايم نات ماين ستريم سكول ويل كو كدي what's coming up on my screen now what the hell Right, but that is one of the things, Sam. You have to listen to them. You cannot just. I mean, you imagine Chris. You heard Chris. So this going to get me annoyed now because bro, I've got everything opening up and it's a bit opening up. Right. And um, you heard him the other night on that interview. How vile was he on there? He came into that interview. He was not planned. He was not planned to come into that interview. He was in the chat. So they put the link out for him. He's come up and he's like a bull in a china shop. He was making no... He was taking nothing off him. He don't care. He was going out for it. He didn't care what he said. He's belligerent and narcissistic. And he wanted people to behave in the chat, be more respectful in the chat. Excuse me? Why don't you be more respectful? And then perhaps people in the chat would be respectful. But when you come into a, onto a live, like he did, that was just out of order. And he's... And a lot, it didn't do him no good, put it that way. It has not done him no good doing that interview. All right, now, what else was it I put down? I put something down. Oh, yeah, something else that was mentioned I've heard today. Why? Right. I hadn't noticed this before, but you know in that interview you did the other night, when you went in like a bully in your china shop in your china shop. And he was having a go at Seth. And he said to Seth, You was there in that room with law enforcement. Right? FBI law enforcement and district attorney. Something like that, right? And Seth said, yes, I was seeing, they showed me a video of him coming out of the restaurant. Right? But please, why would the district attorney be there if it wasn't a criminal investigation? They don't get involved unless it's a criminal investigation. They say, go, go away, come back when you've got more so why is a district attorney at that meeting when Katie and Seth went to TBI, sorry, not FBI, TBI, to see this video? Why was the district attorney there if it's not a criminal investigation? And if it's not a criminal investigation, why would they not give that private investigator who asked for the... Uh, Missing persons report of Seth Sebastian Rogers, who asked for that information. Why did they not give her that information? If it wasn't a criminal investigation. Now, the woman replied saying it was a criminal investigation. But then you got Nick Berez coming on, Berez coming on saying it was a mistake on their behalf, blah, blah, blah. Right? But then... Seth, Chris said the other night in that interview to Seth, you was in that room with law enforcement, the DA and TBI, who showed you that video. So why was the DA there? Why was the district attorney there if it's not a criminal investigation? So think of those two things. A, the response to the uh, P.I. got, but then they rebuted, re oh, can't say the word, 
they went back on that and said it wasn't a criminal, it was only, they made a mistake. But if it's not a criminal investigation, then why can't she have that information? Right? And why did Chris say you was in that room with law enforcement, TBI and the DA? The DA would not be in on anything unless it was a criminal investigation. I've just sort of put that out there as well. <laughs> right, what else? Right, I've talked about everything I want to talk about that wrote down, and now we're going to watch the interview. So, let me... Normally, I'd save them to my Twitter account or my Facebook account, but I have them today. So I'm going to have to log in to my YouTube account. But I was sat here this morning, I was watching it and I thought, oh my lord, what is going on here? Right, Terry Lee. Hi. Anyway, this problems with her. Come on. Right. And I would just like to say a shout out to Terry Lee and Jay for Justice. Because this, this just shows a new side, right? So Jay for Justice is streaming Perry Lee's. But they would be yabbing and snapping, I think. I don't know. And I think. Let's start. Hopefully it's streaming. Welcome back, guys. I'm sorry about that. Welcome to part two of Terry Lynn's call with Proud Footers. Um, my computer crashed. Well, I'm being, I'm being completely honest. It just completely froze the fuck up so it actually works so we're gonna pick right back up this is proud foot i know she said that shit at some point she heard somebody else tonight. would they have a bark at that do you see what i'm trying to say would that have alerted them to something could there have been a cat outside I don't, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're asking questions that I can't mm -hmm. honestly answer because I was not here. Do you think foul play is involved at all with this? Because it's just, do you think he was being watched by somebody? I think everything is on the table, like law enforcement says. How there's no evidence to suggest dogs. anything different. No. There's no suggest. There's no evidence to suggest anything at this point. I mean, I wish we had something. How disciplined are the dogs? Are they disciplined? Do you discipline these dogs? Are they good dogs? I don't know the dogs. I know my mom has dogs, and she, she has these type of dogs. I know they can bite. I don't know about how you discipline. I don't know how she disciplines. Maybe two different things. I don't know. Are they 
well trained, not they're I think what what you've got the more pieces. The, the, the Maltese, aren't they? You've got because my mom had Yorkies. You got the ones that are Maltese Yorkies, right? I believe. And they call them Yorkies. But they would be yapping and snapping, I think. I don't know. And I think they're like I said, I wasn't here, so I can't answer that question. And the stint of those dogs that were there that night that led to that construction site just led to nothing. Correct. And nothing, not an article of that of that belonged to Sebastian was found in How beautiful some flowers. It was cold that morning too. Hello, got got to change. Got change. Oh no, what do you it was I was out looking. It was cold. Okay. Now I have one more question because I need to know if you've seen that picture of the black Nike tennis shoes. Can someone tell me about these black Nike shoes? These trainers. I've never heard of them. Well, I've heard of the trainers, but. <coughs> <coughs> I've never heard of anything being found. And I search all the Facebook groups, believe me. And I search all the YouTube channels, believe me. I've never heard of that. So, perhaps this must be a Facebook page. <laughs> that is their favourite talks, Chris and Katie. Because I know there's some out there that, if you put anything negative on there about Chris or Katie, they kick you out. They kick you out. Oh, it's the shoes he used to wear, the black Nike ones. Oh, right. Well, apparently he left the house with no shoes, so it can't be his. Hang on. Let's continue. Because that thing at moment... She's asking just questions, but you listen to this as it goes on. How she, <laughs> how she got through this phone call, I do not What's the question? Have I seen it now? Did anybody ever turn that damn picture around? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what size you wear? Oh, come on, Can it don't play up when meeting out? There's anybody that's quite hard to know. Like a summer camp. Doesn't matter, law enforcement. Not really. Not really. That's going to be a real. With this event. It's all in the training. In my opinion, a lot of it's the training. Do you feel like they've done a good job? I feel like they've done the best they can do so far with what they've got, and they're trying their hardest to come up with something. And trust me, we pray and hope that they find something every single day. And do, do you think that one, at some point they're going to bring the damn feds in on this? Damn it. The what? The feds. The FBI. Somebody. Listen, TBI is not going to cut it. They're not. The what? They're not going to do it. They That's not my call. Kind of is all three of y'all's call. Y'all are gonna have to fight for it. It's not my call. We've been fighting, and we've been fighting. We've been fighting. All we had a yeah. This is. Mm -hmm. 
unfortunately so and my nephew that's three he's all he's non-verbal but she compares right there now now she that she You mentioned, Chris, about the monitoring things you can buy, like the like that. What? Why can you do that for Sebastian? You can have video cameras, home security on your house for yours. For your stepson. I might wait. I might. What is it called? What is it? It's no, legal. They were telling us, I think there's uh, the law enforcement guys were telling us. I think it's something of, of like, like a, ankle, a bracelet or bracelet. Oh, he just thing. thinks that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. 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 So imagine but what I was like change the game in college. We don't know what little is gonna be. Number it's only said name. He does some language, but he does and he does he runs. He runs. He's a bolter is looking for. Him. When I was driving those back roads. Sebastian. And so that was Miss Tilly got correct. Did and the idea, and it, it's okay. I mean, things have been correct. Did it waste people time? Be who knows. Yeah, it did. I think that law enforcement is responsible in some ways. Yeah. I think are just playing or is doing the best they can. So if I get cooked up with what off stay where you are. Exactly. Do you know anybody that has a Nissan Altima? That was in a Facebook post. Nissan Altima? Um, no, not for those. And also, Riley, you know, he's here. He's missing. You know, I'm scared of what he might missed happen. Nate, Listen, while the Cajun, while they're here, why not? Why can't he ask for that? I'm not opposed to it. Somebody put me in touch with them and I'll go and talk to them. Well, if not, I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, if it helps, because this has got, I mean, something has to be done. Um, true. What do you think you're going to do with the, what's the first thing you're going to do when you see Sebastian? I'm going to give him a big old. Mm. What are you gonna take him to go eat? Well, I won't be the first one to take him to eat. <laughs> the one. He won't be the first one to take him to eat. Um, I don't even think his mother will be the first one. But 
It says you're hurting me. I don't think I'll be the first one to take him to eat. Kate, uh, his mother will probably take him to eat. Yeah, well, why can't you both? Uh, no one asked. Why wouldn't you all go together? Well, you go out together? Uh, he don't. He don't really care too much for. Um, Like more of the fish, seafood type one. Like stuff from steam, not fried. It's kind of weird, but very. Um, hey Seth, welcome in. Is um, we're listening to, and I don't know if you've heard this before, Seth. Oh, God, my but this is like the second half of a call between Terry. Right. I've just uh, what? I think they can pet it. I thought we can have one. And no, and no bullshit. I actually Those one day. Well, so there was one day. I oh man, I almost gave in. And and uh, and uh, they had. Oh, God, I don't know the name of the cat. My wife could have to tell you hairless <laughs> no it wasn't, it was not hair. it's a high it was type of hypo out oh, uh, uh, sense that sense bow hat uh, uh and you know what yorkies are they're hypo allergic so i bet you mr can with his best friend, Julio, <laughs> said, you can get a dog, but it has to be hypoallergenic. I don't think he's allergic to shit. He's, he's. I'm going to go on to my internet people because this is ridiculous. Every night, I can be online all, all day long, but as soon as I come on live, it plays up. Oh, shush up. That's my cat in the background because it's 10 o'clock yet. Yeah, shut up. He normally starts about 9 o'clock where he wants me to go to bed. Yeah, right. So, we're going to start again, okay? Well, I'm not start again, but hopefully just move along a little bit because... All right. Well, they had monkeys. I, had I, like monkeys. I think you're talking like a Devon cat, Devon Rex cat or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a cat. And anyway, so the like, a little quick, little quick story. Uh, can't do cats. I can't. I can't tell the cats. So the, my allergies. I can't. Uh, and my and my daughter actually has allergies to cats as well. And uh, I told her, I said, look, if we're going to make a run with this, I'm sorry, but you're going to make a decision. The cats are me. And... Oh, honey, you get out the damn door. I'm sorry. Because my Dude, husband, a cat. Kevin is my husband. That cat is my wife. A cat would tear this mother. I'm sorry, but if a guy said it's the cats or me, I'd be going, there's the door. Bye.
No way we're going to give my cats up for some guy. Sorry, I don't care. Right? Any animal I have is like family. They're like my children. Right? So I'm sorry if you don't like my cats, then there's the door. Walk out of it. Don't let it hit you on the way out. But have you noticed it's going to start getting... Motherfucker up. Uh, let's face it. A cat would tear this mofo up. You are um, something's wrong with you. That cat's my well, heart. So the funny about, thing. The funny yeah, thing is. <laughs> the funny thing is, there's nothing fucking funny right now. That's what yeah. it is. I can't. I okay. I never actually feels. But the last still to this day has never let me let, live that down. I'm sure it's sad. Well, that's why he deserves yeah. Little Man Jr. I've got his cat, Little Man Jr. He's a beautiful black cat. He's a little bit smaller than my husband, Kevin. A Cajun. Uh... So hold on. His mom gets together with Chris. She's got two cats. Loves cat. <laughs> because the mom decides to choose his over the cats or Chris, she gets rid of the cats. Right? I'm sorry, but my son had a cat. I got three cats from kittens. I had one. My daughter had one. I got well, I brought them for this, my grandsons, right? So, the one cat I brought was for my grandson for his birthday. Who, literally about two years later, did a walk about and didn't come home again, right? Anyway, and the other cat kitten I had, I gave to my other grandson. To about... Was it last year? Sometime last year it was. Near the end, around about September. Um, this cat, Bobby, for some reason, kept attacking. Don't know why. Attacking my daughter-in-law. I'm not... He jump at her. He both legs. He scratch her. She was having to go on antibiotics and everything. That's how bad it was. And it got to the point where... They didn't want to be in this. I had him at my house. And it was fine here. They took him back home. And the same night, it started again. So I said, right. You and Tracy go get, get into bed. Just so that uh, in the morning, uh, cat and say, by give him, say goodbye. You know what I mean? Because I said, I would then have Bobby here. Because I've got his brother, Toby. He's here. He's never attacked me. And I swear to God, I'll stare him out. If he's done something he's not supposed to do, I'm staring that little fecker out. And my son, you shouldn't do that, mummy. Go. Let him try it. Right? And he's not. He's never gone for me. In fact, he's so loving and so... He just loves his cuddles. He loves to cuddle into the neck. And over the time, since my son been coming over, they've got used to it. And Bobby, as soon as he hears my son and my daughter-in-law coming in the door, he runs straight to my daughter-in-law to cuddle up to her. Right? But I said, no, I'll have him here. Because at least that way, at least I'm going to see Bobby, right? Because I said, oh, my my, my mum said uh, her mum and dad would have a cat. And I said, I'll have him here with me. He's got his brother, Toby. At least that way, Ellis will still get to see Bobby. He comes over, I say, he's Bobby. They can't tell the difference between Bobby and Toby. So they have to ask me, because Toby can be a bit full with the children and I'll tell so he just goes into hiding I'll just tell him leave Toby alone if he's lying down sleeping leave him alone right 
And but Bobby, he let them come up and fuss him and go all that and give them cuddles and give them kisses. And they're happy like that. the cats. But I would never you know agree to the cats go to uh another member family member where Ellis doesn't really get to see that family. Once in a blue moon, they go over to visit, maybe. But at least here he sees them every, at least twice a month, but on the weekends when he's here, and when they pop over during the week. And Bobby's fine. He's got his brother, and it keeps Toby happy. Toby happy as well. They have their little moments until I step in. But listen, so he's gave away the cats. The mom gave away the cats, and then. They get a snake, and because they didn't tra teach him and to show him how to look after it properly, they got rid of the snake as well. You know what? I had a flipping gun of runner. Yeah. In that house. He's a green card. He's gay, you know. So here's the thing. A reason he's going to go to his dad's house with it well, that's is because fine. because of, you know everything goes to plan he was supposed to go to his dad's house anyway. uh, so, oh so y'all were gonna take the cat i got you y'all already said that right. well, well, buy it, that damn cat and you got it. no 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 that this that was done way before <laughs> How many cats does she have? <laughs> I don't know. That's how much you didn't like her. I don't like care. General. That's what's wrong with you. I knew. I knew I didn't like your ass. I knew. See, I didn't. I knew I didn't like you because you, you don't like cats. cats. You yeah, never on walls. I love dogs. But I'll there you go. Good taste in dogs. Those are beautiful dogs. They're beautiful dogs. Yes, very short. They are. They are really good dogs. They, they, are, they are dogs. It's the best dog to ever have to guard your house. It's the best alarm system you'll ever own. You would never have to have an alarm system. You have two big dogs and you're set for life. Yeah, well, I've been trying to talk my wife. My has two. I swear to God, anyone who knocks on my door, right? If I don't hear them and, I'm, and I see the cat's ears prick up and they run out to the hallway, I know there's someone because look, say I don't get back. Well, put it this way, that like one New Year's Eve when I passed out, <laughs> I didn't get home till about 3 a.m. in the morning. And I flat and at the time I only had the one cat at the time and that cat sat there looking at me to say oh you're I and if I come back late on the night time say about eight nine o'clock ish it's like really you're making us wait this long for yeah in the door and they're waiting by that just inside the inner door they're waiting in the in the hallway there, and as I was like, hey, okay, you waiting for your mama, and the looks that get it's like killer looks. I swear to God, um, they you got to get past my two cats. Because, uh, you knock on that door, and you're getting it. Oh yeah, he's exhausted, isn't the he? The whole house is, is coming alive. Trust and believe. And they even yeah, like so little tired. dogs. They like her poodles now. She did have Yorkies. Bailey passed away and so did Toby. But uh, now they're with York, they're with poodles and two Belgian Malinois. And they did have two cats and they all slept together. Big dogs, by the way. Sleeping with little dogs and cats. And they do love kids. Very much. And they're fast. 
they would eat the ass up. They would never let anything happen to anybody. Well, there's no, yeah, you gotta get past my cat. Summer, let's see, the eldest one. Uh, that's one of the their drug dogs from her litter, and then Roxy's their one from Metro is them. the best dogs ever. Don't get me started, but I best get back to my cat. My husband, Kevin. Cats, it's not yours. It's still like cats in general. Oh, you need to invest in Benadryl, sir. Pass this zone. Ray Brown is the black cat, and he's the best. He's like a big. You were already talking before it started. Okay. Is it I just sent you a text, by the way. <laughs> um, but scenario. Can he sleep in bed somewhere? And he's chit chatting with Terry Lynn on the phone and laughing and carrying on. And she is sleeping. High open mind perspective. This is March 21st. Glad to see you all here. Hey, you. Yep. As my girl Masty. Masty. <laughs> oh, God. No, ew. Well, Thank you so much, Kendo. Out, you know, it's not my business. Let me see if there's someone else I've got. Hmm, who thinks? Right, um, hold on. I'm sorry about that open mind. It could be me moving back and forth from the mic, but it's also my internet is playing up. Again, I'm going to send them an email tomorrow or phone them because they said, oh, you'll get a good reception. Yeah, I do get a good, I get a lot better reception than I had before. Christ, before I could lose connection and I, I'd be watching something on TV and I'd lose connection. And it would take me a good half an hour. Box, the black box you get. For it to find the signal of my TV. So that's why I went to this other network which is a good apparently one of the better ones but every time i come on alive with the internet i don't know why i could understand if i was if it was bad weather outside high winds heavy rain or anything like that but it's not it's to be honest with you i know it's not raining but i don't know if it's windy normally i can hear the wind if it's high winds i can hear the wind going past my living room and bedroom windows it howls around my around my flat so and i'm not hearing no wind so it's just it's either me moving back and forth from the mic and i've got to remember to stay closer to the mic which is right by my mouth at the moment so or it could be the internet. As I said, sometimes I lose connection with uh, StreamYard. will kick me off. Hmm. It's, I think it's three times already StreamYard has kicked me off. 
So like I said, if I get kicked off, give me 30 seconds and I'll be back on. Just don't go anywhere. But I'm sorry if, I, if it sounds like I'm cutting in and out. I'm really sorry. Well, that maybe he's gotten into trouble being a little pervy before because we weren't pervy to that information. No, they're both at the <laughs> house. Yeah, I think that's I think that's about all hey, cheat code. Tonight. Now we might have to go over this one more time, one more night. Um, when you're calmer. When I'm awake and not tired. No, just when you're tired. No, I got a little bit calmer, and you'll be all right. I understand. I do. Oh, um, I do. Maybe we should do it in person. I think I still think that'd be fun. Oh my Let's god! This when no. In person, he knows she local to them. He knows that she lives local to them. Meet in person. I wonder if Katie knows about this in person, how you want to meet Terry Lee in person. Hey, Chris. So, what with the internet? Flirty, wordy. Come on, behave. Uh, I'm just trying to get back. Nice, nice try, but no. That was a joke. Uh, I actually. Wow. Oh, no, he ain't not. giving up. He's uh, still hoping there's a chance. No, that's full. I'm yours. Now, all that kind of mouth. How that kind of mouth. Actually, God. they give it. And today was my day. Oh, okay. No, I'm saying it. I am. You can't believe this, can you? Right now, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> that, that's a huge problem. So, if they're at the house and he's in bed, where's Katie? She apparently, uh, um, she just mentioned it on here. This is why I think Nancy Grace asked them if when they oh that you I... pay, um, the pastor and uh, all the Well, right, Nancy Grace, if she's Katie, he, she did ask them when you are together, do you sleep in the same bed? And they said yes. So it makes me wonder. Like this, I have some time, right? I have it. I'm now in April, coming up to May. So it makes you wonder: Do they sleep in that room? So, because come on, is is boss in bed by the side of him, and he's in bed, and he's talking like this to? Some YouTuber on the phone. I think I got out of that bed, gone in the kitchen, got a knife and stabbed a fecker. Father Anchovy. It is, isn't it beautiful, Sunflower? Wow. It's not giving up. It's not giving up. I'm a nun. I'm a nun as well. 
but no. We realize that we'll see how everything's going and uh, send me a link to the show, would you? Yeah, he wants to it's listen to the show. Brava. Oh my god, that's all you got. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh my goodness, I think you want me to do one of her How she managed to get through this call? I don't know. My dad was married seven times. I married four. I'm the Sir, you been all the way. Do you just like when? I'm curious. So I'm just ask you that too. Also, I'm trying that video. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice talking to you. Never again. Oh my God. How in the world? Over? Thanks, John. <laughs> I don't think it's over yet. That ending, though. My husband, Kevin. That you. It's not like cats. It's not yours. It's not like cats in general. You need to invest in it, sir. But the best cat that ever. To stage. God. Sorry, I got kicked out again. I'm really sorry about the glitching. I don't know what's causing it. As I said, I did buy a new mic. And it's, I don't know. I've got all the settings now correct. So I don't know why the glitching. All I can think of is it's my, my internet. It, it's switching so hard to hear. I'm really sorry. But now people, people might to record the call. I'd flip it record the call if I was on, on a phone call with him as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably that you don't even want to hear Chris's lies. <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. How she got through that call, I do not know. I don't. Right? But, oh, God. I just been literally with a bucket by the side of me, puking. It was unbelievable. And yet he's lying next to his wife. And he's talking so. Well, you see, we've just seen, in, like, okay, this was back in March. 
I'm just showing you about it. I'm just, I'm just showing it earlier. I got permission and got showing earlier. But, um, when I go on a page, it doesn't show the interview. The Robin, could you be able to see? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> right. But um it's just shown two sides to him. One nasty file. Foul mouthed. Abusive. Narcissistic. And then tonight you got this flirting. Oh. I'm so I don't know how she's done that phone call. I really don't. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. People say, no, I want to replace this book. <laughs> I don't know how she's done it. But it's that thing when she said, never again. Never again. Oh, oh God. So, but apparently, so... He made Katie choose over him or the cats. Right? What was that? Me either. He would be upside down in the front yard. <laughs> he wouldn't be upside down in the front yard with me. He'd be six foot under with flowers on top. I'm sorry, but... I've said it before, no one, when I got married, until I got married, right? So, when I, left, when I got married, I said, no one is going to tell me what I can do and what I can say. The only person who can tell me what to do and say is my mum and dad. So, if I went over to my mum and she's, I do. Stop that. I go, okay. Okay. I don't know. But it's like it's ch made you choose again. Like, he made you choose a cat over him. And she chose him. Poor Sebastian. Don't care about Sebastian, what he feels. And then... They get rid of, so it's got no cats, so then they get a snake. And everyone knows you have, you have an autistic child, right? You can't just say, well, you need to do this, 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 and this, right? You have to sit with them. You have to work with them until they've got it into a routine so they know what they're doing, right? It can take, it can take two weeks, it can take three weeks. It could take a year, but you have to sit with them and work with them. They have not got the patience to sit and work with an autistic child. Sorry, they haven't. And they haven't. Why? My voice sounds familiar. Well, I'm from Birmingham, UK. But I live in Scotland. It's probably the, the Birmingham accent, the bummy accent. But hi there, Ellie May. Anyway, so you have to work with them. And because they didn't have the time or the patience to sit and work with him, they got rid of the snake because he, didn't, he wasn't looking after it. And as I said, that's why I love this picture so much. Even though I don't like snakes. <laughs> well, I don't like snakes. Uh, I... I believe Sebastian overheard the phone call between CP and Kate. He felt it was his fault that they keep fighting. So he could have felt he was doing best for his mum. Possibly, but it still comes back to why was there no sense apart from the one bug, even though Chris was dead. There was be dogs. 
But we know in that dispatch call, there is only one dog mentioned, not three. I don't think he left my son going through something with his wife. What you YouTuber was that you can't you want to buy beautiful sunflower. But no, it's so sad that every animal he's loved has been taken away from him. Every animal. And if Chris was speaking in the house like he was on that live the other night. I wouldn't be surprised if it did run off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard about that Paris Hilton went to a behavioural camp. Yeah, I leave that beautiful sunflower. Yeah, there is um between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Because he was said to be at work at 5.15 a.m. But why would he go to work at 5.15 a.m. when he didn't start work till 7 a.m.? So that, I'd be in my bed for another hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's physically, emotionally, he been through so much he tried to do right and nobody else exactly that's why i would be disgusted if that uh what uh dcfs worker or whatever the child cs worker whatever actually said that to sebastian about saying you can't say things like that because you're going to get other people into trouble and then you'll get into trouble. So, it's thinking, well, I don't want to tell my dad because if I tell my dad, it's going to cause eruptions and it'll come back on me. You know what I mean? It'll cause eruptions between my mum and Chris and it'll all come back on me. So, he didn't want to tell his dad, right? He spoke to someone at school about it. Child services come out and they say that. And he's thinking, well, who can I turn to? I've got my... Oh, Well, apparently there's workers that said they did see him there at 5.15 a.m. But then again, we don't know if he said to him, look, if anyone asks, I was here at 5.15. You don't know. But I'm just hoping that that sighting, that possible sighting, the weekend is Sebastian. I really am. Because this lad deserves some happiness in his life. But I know I wouldn't be. If, uh, I remember when I used to have to start work at Sam in the morning. Right. I used to get up and I'd have to leave my house, my flat about what? It was about a 10 minute walk to bus stop. And I'd have to get a 5.30 bus because the next one was at 6am. So it would have made me late for work. So I used to have to get the 5.30 bus. So I used to leave my house then about 20 past, quarter past, 20 past five. Right? But I was getting up at 4 a.m. Within a week, I wasn't getting up until I was leaving the house at quarter past five. So I was getting up at quarter to five in the morning, having a shower, you know, making a coffee, jumping in the shower, having a shower, tying my hair. But I, I didn't, I quickly blow dried it, right, and gave it a brush, tying my hair up in a ponytail. Got me, got my uniform on, and after work I go for quarter past five. I thought, no, I'm getting up at 
for anymore. I'm not. I need that extra sleep. No, you know what, Robin? I don't either. I don't believe a word you said because both. I don't believe a word she says. No, there are things that she says that are literally giving the story away. Like, what was the first thing she said? Uh, what was it name? When she said she heard the... Th no, she didn't say she heard your thoughts straight away. That come about, oh, the third interview... But she just kept adding to her story. Now, if you tell the truth, you don't add. You know what I mean? But she she said once she said one story, then to the newsreel people, and then after that she added to it, and then she added again. And I was that first interview, which we all watched, came in four parts. Right, I said, I never mentioned his name once. Right, she didn't check on him before going to bed. No, I went the other weekend, last weekend when I got my grandson. He normally falls asleep in my bed. But then... Misery story. <laughs> I've seen that film. Right? And um, then it's like she heard a thud. But if you heard a thud, would you not go in and check on your child? Being autistic or not, you go in and check on him. But she goes, well, we don't like to, we like to give him his privacy. Uh, you go in there quick enough when you want to bag his toys up and bring them because he hasn't tidied his room. You go in there quick enough then. So why can you go and check on him? So she just makes me mad. Crazy people that don't want their kids. Hold on. Hold on. Where's it? Crazy people that don't want their kids because of some reason, they disappear. Yep. Yep. And I was watching something tonight, another uh, podcast. And it's where she tells stories about cases of people going missing, people being killed, all this lot. And she's really good. And I'm telling you this one case about some someone going missing. Now, what's that? Who? Mystery Angels. Never heard of her. Why did she leave you? Keep? Do you know why she left? My old son had epileptic seizures and one day the stove fell on top of him. I got up and I got the oven off him as fast as I could with all my mind. Exactly. You do anything for your child, don't you? You don't just... You don't just... Okay, there. No, I've just broke my flipping arm. You know what I mean? Um, and I'd, someone also said they'd like to know, and I'd like to know this. What was the time they saw the lights go up and off in his bedroom? Oh, right. Well. I'd like to know the time that the lights I'm off in his bedroom. Was it before before ten PM? Use the car, gypsy baby. Go on. 
I don't know. Maybe if you was the guy Gypsy Road met up with someone for some reason, Mum, where Mum left it. Mm. Hi, there, Laura. But um, it's it's just become a circus. Oh, sorry to hear that, Robin. Sorry to hear that. So. But you do, you do anything, don't you? You just do anything for your ch children. Or even if it's not your child, if it's your stepchild, you do anything. Because when you marry a mother, a woman, with a child, right, you take that child on. Now, if, you, if you can't take that child on, then walk away. Walk away. Don't keep pushing to stay in that relationship. And that big thing about the cat at the beginning, where she had to choose between the cat or him, that was a big red flag for me. That would be the, you know what? There's the dog, don't let it hit you on the way out. Because I will never get rid of any animal, any animal, even if it was, say it was a snake or some reptile or something like that. And this guy's like, oh, I don't like snakes. Well, there's the door. Bye. So, but it's true, you do. And when... You know what, some beautiful sunflower, I... um. Sometimes, I know I shouldn't, but my mind sometimes wonders when I'm watching these YouTube channels and things, things. I think, how would I deal with it if I lost a child? How would I be? If I got that knock at my door by the police. My daughter was the same age as someone when she was kidnapped and murdered by a 16-year-old. Oh my lord. I am so, so sorry, Robin, to hear this. So you have to go back every couple of years, do you, to, to his uh, parole hearing or something like that, I suppose. It shouldn't be up for parole. People like that should not be up for parole. I don't care how young they was, oh, but they've got... They can change. No. I don't care. They took someone's life. They don't deserve to have a life. So I'm really sorry about that, Robbie. So not before. So that's thirty years, and you're still fighting to keep him locked up. I don't know what you'll go. I wouldn't like to be in your place. I really wouldn't, Robin. Really sorry about this, but see, we've got parents like you. And you've lost two. You've lost two children. You know what I mean? And yet you've got parents like Katie. You're going to give two hoots because she'd rather have the man in her life than a child. So I really think he, he probably said, gave her an ultimatum. It's either your son or me. Because we all know their marriage was having difficulties. We know that. 
You don't need no paperwork to tell us that. So, so, if he did leave that house, I'm sure he would have put shoes on there. Or if he thought, well, I haven't got time to put my shoes on, I'll, it, I'm sure he would have picked up his shoes to take with him and maybe put them on when he got away from the house a bit. You know what I mean? He's still fighting because he's appealing his second life term in prison without parole. Hmm. They shouldn't get parole. I shouldn't be, there shouldn't be no appeals. I'm sorry, I don't, this is just me. When you are found, someone's found guilty, in a case like yours, Robin, right, and they're sentenced to life, I know in some states, life is like, what, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, whatever. Yeah, she is a breeder. I heard something the other night. Someone say, apparently Seth, I don't know if he did, I don't know. Someone said that apparently Sebastian was the only child, was the second, uh, the, apparently she had aborted one child. Before Sebastian. Right? But she didn't have a book, Sebastian. But it's such a shame when you hear these cases, it's so annoying. I'm getting angry because. We've got all these different stupid rumours coming out. And I said it would happen. As soon as the law enforcement and DBI stopped talking, I said, if that, when that happens, you'll have everyone coming out with their conspiracy theories and these rumours coming out. And I even said, you'll even get the nutcases coming out. Back at the nut like people from the mental home, they're coming out. So, and then the fact that one where they said, he said you've got his son, Sebastian, but he'll only talk to Seth, right? And then you got that king. Oh, I didn't do, because I, I got up quite late today, I didn't get to do the research on that King Davis, right? But he's a no hoper. He's just a crazy one. It's just looking for the 15 minutes of fame. And I'm sorry, I think it's disgusting when they use it on any child or anyone who's been gone missing or has been murdered. I I detest anyone who does that. You've been in there 30 years and you're still fighting to get out. So it's, for, it's about... Six then for six forty hours. It should be in there until he dies. I'm sorry, I'm with you, Bobby. Right? Because even if he out now, say say put six forty eight, he's still fairly young. You know what I mean? Yes, I. She had miscarriages. She had a uh, abortion. Before Sebastian, I heard she had an abortion because I heard that Sebastian is the only one, is the one she kept. But as I said, I can't get that confirmed. I'm all around Florida and it's in Michigan. I'm trying to get even. To get even. What was that? What is it? I'm all the way in Florida and he's in Michigan, so I'm not worried about trying. Oh, God, I'm screaming. Hit the... And he's in Michigan, so I'm not worried about trying to even get out and touch me. It's not, I wouldn't be worried about that. 
but it's the fact that you've done 30 years you're living you've got your you're living with this for your whole life you could get out and start again that's what annoys me in cases like this yeah, in the UK, you probably heard of the case of the bull, uh, little bulger lad, uh, what was his name, Jamie, Jamie Bulger, where two young lads uh, walked out of a shopping arcade and walked him along this, they walked for about two miles or more, and where they dumped his body on the train track was right by a fleeing police station. You know what I mean? And rang out, out the one that was Jamie Bulger. The Liverpool lad, the little guy. All these cats doing my head in. Pack it in. Pack it in. Right. Jamie Bulger. And they both, well, I believe the one is out and he's not been picked up on anything else since. And he's, I don't even know if he's living in the UK. We don't know nothing about him. But the other lad, he's been in and out since. Since he first got out, he's been in and out. I'm sorry, he's, he's been, last time he got picked up was because the police were going round to get him because apparently his ID and his address had been given out. So the police were going to get him to move, move him to a new location. When they got there, they found him getting rid of um, hard drives, right? deleting stuff off his laptop. Well, he's not supposed to have a laptop. Hi. Right? He's not supposed to have anything like that. Not even a phone where you can get any internet on it. He's not supposed to have a phone with internet on it. He's not supposed to have a laptop. Nothing. And they found him. And so they got him back in prison. And he's never going to change like that. He will never change. But the other lad, not anything about him. He's in a relationship. He's got a good job. From what I can all I know is he's in a, in a relationship. He's got a good job. Right? But I seriously think this other lad, the one that's been in and out since that merge of that little lad, his name, he should not have an identity anymore. Two judges the same sentence. But good. I hope he doesn't get out, Robin. He shouldn't be allowed out. People like that shouldn't be. So it's I just don't get people. I don't understand parents who don't care about their children. It's just mind-boggling. Like, we was talking the other day about a judge up here in Scotland. Right? Now, if a guy or a woman goes up in front of this judge, right, for any child offences, you can guess what I mean, right? The P offences, right? He gives them a slap on the wrist and then walk out of court. Now, the harm these people are causing to these young children is unbelievable. But this one judge keeps letting them walk. But if you go in front of that judge for, say, I don't know, say, I don't know, fraud. You know, like you've defrauded the, oh, let's think. The housing benefit people up here in the UK, or the social security benefits, whatever, and you 
fraud, you took money from them and they claim fraud. You can get, you'll get sent down for two, three, four years. And you've done no harm to a child. But if you do harm to a child, this judge will let you walk. And the only way that he will be brought to uh, knowledge is when he retires. Because at the moment, all these peas know that if they get, get in, up in front of him in court, they know they're going to walk. But there's going to come a time when this judge is going to retire. So they're now going to use that. They can come and say, uh, I've got someone you'll be interested in. Oh, yeah, who's that? Retired judge. And they're going to use that then to get out. But they're going to drop that judge into it. You know what I mean? Bring his name into it then. And that's the only way we believe that judge will be held accountable. Because we all know how our judges and even our police are so interested in CIA, child abuse, and P. You know what I mean? Really? He laughed about it. Oh my God. We had a case over here where a 16 year old girl, a young four, five, year, about five, six year old she was. Visiting her, was it her father? You know what I mean? And he just smiled and laughed and walked away and laughing, sort of thing. It makes me sick. Too many people out there hurting children. So I'm just hoping one way, if he did run away from home, right? He's managed to find somewhere safe. As I said, he could have hooked up with another group of kids somewhere. And you, know, like you get a group of kids roaming the streets and walking the streets on the night time who are homeless, yeah? He could have hooked up with a group of kids like that. I don't know. But he definitely should not go back to Katie or Chris if he's found alive. And Seth has even told Child Support Agency he does not want Sebastian to go back to Seth, uh, Katie or Chris. He's told them that. And he shouldn't. But for all we know, he could be with, I don't know, a friend of theirs who we don't know about. He could be with anyone, someone he knows and feels comfortable being around. So he's probably thinking it's just with them while they sort out their marriage problems, you know what I mean? So he's comfortable around them. He doesn't realise he's got to get in touch with the police because he's probably not seeing any of the... It's not really on the TV. Not nightly, anyway. Once in a blue moon. And then it's only for what, a three to four minute interview. So, unless you watch their channels, is not going to see them. Right? And some people, I know in the UK, a lot of people don't have house phones. They have mobiles. Because I was offered the chance for a house phone here when I've changed my internet provider. I said, no, I don't want one. No one will phone me on it. They always phone me on my mobile. So they may not have a house phone. It might be just be a mobile I use. And he hasn't got, he isn't able to get to that mobile. So sorry, babe, Robbie. So sorry about that. As I said, she did, he took her life. His life should be took as well. And if that means staying behind by for the rest of his life, then that's what it means. It should be no more parole hearings or 
Five more appeals. Sorry, he was found guilty by two judges. Two judges. He should not be up for any more appeals. He shouldn't be up for any more parole hearings. That's it. There's your that that's your room till you die. Simple as that. Um, anyway, I've been on YouTube for about 15 minutes. I've put that interview that I wanted to, because that just showed us another sick, sick side of Chris. So, as I said, if he's in bed on phone, and she even said it as well, the woman, Jade for Justice, she even said it as well. She said, if he's in bed, on the phone. Where's Katie? Is she in the same bed with him? You know what I mean? Because that is just sick. If I had my husband, your partner, next to me talking to someone on the phone like that, I swear to God, 14th floor, my window would be opened and I could fucking go. I would not stand for that. Uh, but I'm really sorry, Robin, that you're having to go for this you now again and again. Has it ever been spoken about on the news or on the TV, that case, Robin? Your, your case, has it been on the news? Have you any help behind you to get, to get this information out there? To, so the public know about him. Because I think if you have more highlights of it on the TV, perhaps then people start thinking, look, he's, he's done this, and you know what I mean? So I think a lot of the justice systems are too easy. Look, I can't understand how in different states they've got different laws, like sentences. Look at that one now with um, those two women, the mother and her partner, partner in crime, right, who abused her two children. Now, they had sentences which could go up to... 15 years each, so for each dodge, so like 15, 60 years. But because of the state they're in, they can only do, the, the maximum they can do is 30 years, right? Unless it's um, a murder case, then they do more. But in the UK, yeah, we have different... Like, it all depends on the judge. But since we've left the EU, I've noticed it, and so has my son, noticed how people are now being charged with longer sentences. Sentences. Because before, when we were with the EU, we had to abide by their laws in our court system. But now we don't. So a lot more people are now being for um, rape and whatever for like 35, 40 years. And if it's really bad, if it's a bad murder, it's like a murder, it's what we call a whole life sentence. And they don't come out, they don't give them out very often. 
So when they do give out a whole life sentence, it's bad. And I was watching um, a film on crime, crime, TV, crime video, and I watch it on the night time when I go to bed. And I was watching about um, Moore's murderers, right? And how the bloke and hang out the man involved, right? What was his name, Brad? Right, he was putting a mental institution, a hospital, for the mentally insane. He's, he's died now, he's dead now, thank God. Right? But he was telling us what, what put him on that path. And I lay there and I think, you know what, I'm watching this and I'm watching something like this so foul and disgusting about a person, right, who I couldn't, couldn't give two hoops about. Right? right? She is now dead as well, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure she died as well. Because there was life sentences. They was not getting out. And I thought, and I'm, I fall asleep listening to them things and I thought I've got to stop falling I've got to stop watching programs like this to fall asleep to I really have because all I do is I watch YouTube and I watch all about the crimes programs on the in the day and then I go to bed and I'm watching all I fall asleep listening to crime dramas and documentaries I thought my life I've got more in it than crime but that is me but it just makes me so mad how they can hold, like they never ever gave up the the man and the woman, Myra Hingley and what's his name? Can't think of his name. And the guy who was who she did with never ever gave up the spot where one child, where they buried one child, never ever gave that up. The mother of that little boy has since died. But every year she would go up to the moors, right? And down, just on the edge of the roadway. Every year. Every year she pleaded with them while they was alive to let them, let them know where her son was. And they never gave that secret up. And that's why I think if someone's murdered someone, especially like if they murdered someone and they don't get up where the body is, they should never be released. You know what I mean? But if they murdered someone as well, in your case, Robin, then that's even, that's just as bad. And they shouldn't be released. Because as I said, he could come out and he's got his whole life. He's still got good 40 years ahead of him. You know what I mean? Where he could come out and meet someone. Have a life, get a job, have a nice home maybe. You know what I mean? He's got all that to look forward to if he got out. Where... I'm sorry, your daughter's got had nothing because he took that away from her. So he shouldn't be allowed out. Anyway, I'm going to have to say good night. And tomorrow, again, I'll be back on tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And it will be for Sebastian. It's always about Sebastian on the night time. I am thinking of doing one earlier in the day, but I don't know, because it takes a lot of research. Um, at the moment, I just get enough time to get the research together for what I'm talking about tonight. So I think once in a blue moon, I might do one earlier so that I get two in a day rather than one. And maybe look at a different case 
chung ơi vô nhìn chai I don't know that I think about him but I'm going to say good night let's go to this Clap. I'm wrong. Please keep us informed, Robin, as to how it goes. Bye. My email is always in the description, so you can always email me. Email me. Let me know how it goes. Is there anything I can do? Maybe do a live or a video on on that on your case on your daughter's case. So get highlighted so that look. You're not alone. I will. So, anyway. I'm going to say good night. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And thank you once again for being here.